Saving passwords as plain text is a huge red flag. In fact, a service should never actually know what your password is at all. But if that's the case, how do they verify your password's correct? Well, that's what I'm going to answer for you in this security byte. If you've ever forgotten your password, you may have noticed that the only real option for you is to reset your password. And I'm sure you've wondered to yourself, why can't they just tell me my password? The answer is, they have no idea what it is, or at least they shouldn't. In fact, if you ever come across a service that does just give you your password, run. You run as far away from that platform as you possibly can and never look back. But let's assume the service you're working with actually knows what they're doing. Then this is how things work. When you're making your account and you type in your password and hit on that register button, what actually happens behind the scenes? Well, when you hit that button, your information gets processed and all of your important information like your password gets saved in a big jumbled up string of data known as a hash. There are a bunch of different hash types, but the one I'm talking about in today's video is known as Argon2ID. Hashes like Argon2ID are one way. That means that they can't be reversed to reveal the original input. So when a password gets hashed with Argon2ID, some extra information needs to get provided with it. First, a salt is provided, which is some random bytes to be added onto the password. The salt should be unique to your password, and it gives it a little something something extra to make the hash a little more secure. Some server configuration stuff is added as well, like memory cost, time cost, and parallelism to determine how much resources will be used and how many iterations will be done. In addition to this, an output length will be provided as well, which determines what size the output hash will be. Let's take a look at an example. Let's assume you are going to use this password. When you hit on submit, the server would generate a random salt like this one, and it would submit parameters like we talked about, which looks something like this. All of this would produce an output that looks like this which is typically stored in the user's table of a database under a field with a name like password hash. Now, when you try to sign in again later using your password, when you submit your password, the server retrieves the saved hash, extracts the salt and parameters, and computes the password you entered to sign in with the extracted salt parameters. It will then compare the saved hash with a hash it just computed from your input, and if they match, then you're in. If you learned something from this video, be sure to follow for more security bytes. Bite-sized videos to help you understand cybersecurity concepts like why, 